Shelter and Mercy, prayers inspired by the Psalms. Ryan Whitaker Smith and Dan Wilt. Overview. Shelter and Mercy helps us rediscover the rich treasure of the Psalms through a free verse prayer rendering of their poems and hymns as a guide to personal devotion and meditation. The church has always used Psalms as part of their prayer life, and they have inspired countless other prayers. This book contains 75 prayers drawn from Psalm 1 through 75, providing lyrical sketches of what the author Ryan Smith and Dan Wilt have seen, heard, and felt while sojourning in the Psalms. With each prayer corresponding to a particular psalm and touches on the themes and ideas, it is not a new translation of the Psalms or an attempt to modernize the contextualize their context or prayer or content or language. Rather, the prayers are responses to the Psalms written in harmony with Scripture. These prayers help us quiet our hearts before God and welcome us to a safe place amid the storms of life. This artful, poetic, and classical devotion book features compelling custom illustrations and foil stamped hardcover bindings, offering a fresh way to reflect on prayer of the, and pray this review. This book is not scripture, and it does not take the Psalms and rewrite them for modern audiences. What this book does is what we should see being done by a greater number of Christian artists, being inspired and using the inspiration of God's revealed word to communicate truths from the outpouring of his revelation. We use this as a family devotion of sorts. We would read the psalm and communicate that the psalm in question was God's inspired word to use. We would talk about what the psalm meant for the reader and the author at the time and what its implications are for us on this side of the cross. We would then read from this book with the understanding that this was inspired by inspired by God's revelation, but it was not in this inspired word. For young kids who have, haven't experienced the full perils of the world yet, the first 75 psalms make for a good introduction of what can come about in the world and where we can turn to. The Christian experience isn't to just smile through the pain of life, shrug our shoulders at the unfairness of those who do wrong, or have no complaint when we face hardships. Our goal is to rely on God and his word as the source of making sense of those evils. What is evil without an objective truth or an ultimate good? It is nothing more than preferring chocolate ice cream to vanilla or all books of poetry. Like all books of poetry, there are some you'll like and some you won't. There will be some that help at times and some that will help later. What is really nice about this book is that it isn't a one-to-one -one correlation between the psalm it's inspired by and what's written. The theme or themes of the psalm is imbued in the section, but it's a new thing, a new prayer that follows the keystrokes along the path of the psalm. It also doesn't stick to just the words of the Old Testament, but weaves in verses, themes, and theology of the New Testament. Exactly what you would expect from Christian art being inspired by God's word. While this book w wouldn't be for everyone, it is a book worth considering, especially for those who want to produce good Christian art. Not everything has to be an altar call message where the atheist either comes to salvation or rues the day he ever challenged God and his people. This is a Christian art we need to see based on living in God's word and being renewed people of worship. Final grade, A minus.